here and say am. am. You see, it's, it's incomplete. You don't know if you say am or am. Am. And keep it together. Am. Try to say fast. Say am. am. Now say am. am. You see the difference? It's hard to tell what that bad was unless you open your lips. So the Abba, it makes the sound when you open your lips, not when you're closed up. Everybody follow me? Yes. So let's look at my thing here. We're going to make fun, and we're going to learn the root of the word man. What did I say it meant? Man. 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 That's the original, and then in general? Man. 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 Manual. What does that mean? Manual labor. What does it mean? Work that you work do, back. labor that you do, all right, at labora, right? Labora is the Latin word for work, right? So manual labor is labor that you do by your hand, right? Isn't that still the same meaning? So with manual labor, we make manufactured goods. What is manufactured? Okay, man is word and fact is a word, okay? Fact is to make something reality, right? Or to make something. So something that is handmade, right? Manufactured goods. And then you have a manager. Why is he called a manager? No, because he uses his hands to guide people. You over here. You know, stop. Let's go. Hurry up, right? Come. Start. He uses his hands to direct people while he's working. Usually they did that. They set the pace. They hit the drum. Setting the tone. You get my point? The right maneuvers. What is that? Direction. No, hand movements. The right hand movements that you're making when you're manufacturing, during the manufacturing process. Does everybody follow me? Yes. Be careful with your manners. Here's my favorite. What does that mean? Again, with your hands. Where are your hands when you're talking? Where are your hands when you're receiving orders? You get my point? In, in, in all cultures, your hands have to be someplace. What happens to those guys in the service besides the cheer force when they get told to do something? They have to salute, right? Yes. Right? They have to do something. They salute. We have it here in Islam. We do like this. In Chinese culture, the, the, the people have to stand like this. In our culture, like this. Where are your hands when you're, when you're doing your, where's your manners? Your hand to show respect. Or you got your hand on your weapon, which shows bad manners. You get my point? Or your hand just anywhere. Like you're ready to fight and resist. Does everybody follow me? Yeah. Okay. Especially with manure. Why is manure? Got you on that. <laughs> <laughs> because before people became sedity and bourgeois, they would take the manure, the, the, the feces. It's not, manure is not considered feces anyway. Is manure uh, najis? Is it filthy in Islam? No. no, no manure. manure is not. Do you, if you have manure, can you just put it down, wipe your hands, and go off a salah? Yes. Because the animal that makes manure does not eat meat. Okay, he's not a carnivore, right? So when he, if an animal eats meat, then we, he doesn't have manure. He has feces, and those feces are haram. They have even a different smell. You get everybody follow me? Yes. So manure is just grass dried up and whatever they eat in and dates and those things like that. And you can take that, they dry it, and it makes really good stuff for burning. Or you take it and do what? And they spread it with your hand and use it as fertilizer. So manure was always and still is. If you lived in Egypt anytime, they place all the manure on top of the roofs and dry it and take it and sell it to the, to the baker so he can make some real hot fires. Or they do it themselves to burn it for the fires for making bread. Okay? Did everybody follow me? It makes really great tinting when it's dried out. Or they just keep it up there, re-wet it, and then sprinkle it over the, 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 the garden so that they can get some good grass. So manure is spread by hand. And afterwards, you need a what? Manicure. Manicure, right? What is a manicure, ladies? Where you get your hand. Guys have to do it too. Now, sometimes ladies don't know. The same cutting on the fingers that the men have to get, the ladies have to get. Because we see sometimes women coming to Islam and they got claws, right? No, they do. They think this is they think this is beautiful. Someone told these people to look like beasts. 
You know, and they got these long claws. Hey, it's, 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 it's the chic thing in the culture of the Kufa. But some Muslim ladies come and bring it in there too, where it's supposed to be trimmed. Why? Because the law's messenger told us everything that's made haram had, brings harm, right? Yeah. Well, now they tell you how is that that thing, what's the, 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 the staph infection is spread under the fingers from touching metal, right? And you have a bigger chance of trying to catching it if you have fingernails because the filth gets under the fingernails and stays there. Isn't that what the Prophet Sallallahu said? That the shaitan is under those fingernails? So cut them off? You know, you get the point? Yes. So, you know, th this is something we need to make sure that it's, it's like that way because we sometimes find ladies imitating those people are thinking there's some sophistication in that. It's savagery. All of it. Now, it says emancipation. Remove the physical manacles from the African people enslaved in the world. Okay, what is emancipation? To t emancipation is to take the removal of the manacle. What is a manacle? Manacle is a little hand. That's what it literally means. A little hand. So it restricts the hand. You get, you get the point, everybody? Emancipation is the removal of the, ma the, the manacle, the little hand. Okay? From we call manipulate is from manual pal your palate you know, palpate something, holding it and touching it. You get the point? So manacles, at least the physical manacles, we can say, right? But in, in the world, but the, the manuscript, which is the written document, why is it called a manuscript? Because it's a script that was written by hand. Does everybody follow me? Yes. Did not remove the racism. Does everybody understand? Yes. Yes. Do we get it? Yes. Now, if this is the case with the English language, what do you think about Arabic? You get my point? Okay, so my, my purpose for bringing this is to show you Arabic does the exact same thing. Okay? You already know hundreds of words in Arabic. Hundreds. I can think of 200 right off the top of my head that everybody knows. Give me 100. 99 of them. Tell me, don't whisper. <laughs> What, 99 what? The 99 names of Allah. Is it that 99 words? Yeah. Each one of those root words, you now have a meaning, don't you? Yeah. So there are 100 words, stop talking, you know. <laughs> so there's 99 words that everybody can agree they already know. What about 114 words? Add to that. Sort of, right? That people know. Now we say about you know, 14 of those are going to be sod, you know, cab, hell yeah, I ain't saw, you know, those things. But besides that, there's another hundred words that we know, that, right? With fact here right there. Fact here has been bad. She just fact here has been bad, right? Everybody can understand that if we just take a second and think about it and get used to it. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So don't be intimidated by vocabulary. You have a large vocabulary. The average person only uses the same 200 words every day. Did you know that? Yeah. What, do you say something different every morning? No. Okay. So, and, and, and only when you, when you go to work, you may use another 200 particular words dealing with your career, okay? So that's it, but you have a, an ability to understand thousands of more words. And that's through experience. That's through practice, right? Practice makes improvement. Everybody has to remember that. Follow me? Say it again. Practice makes improvement. Because it's a lie that practice makes perfect. We don't want to practice, we don't want to even say something that's not true. We want to keep it real. Practice makes improvement. Right? Realistic. That's, a, that, that's something we can buy into. Salaam alaikum. And she was like, I don't know, she was smiling when she saw me or what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, she's like, hold it, no, I didn't want to come in here. <laughs> now, what she was here in the beginning of the class, yeah, honey, we had a good opening. Sorry, I blew Kareem at you. Oh, I blew Kareem at Oh, you had it on video? Oh, mashallah. That's good. The undercover. 
You got a good producer? Mashallah, mashallah, man. That's good, because we couldn't redo that. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> I have another thing I want to talk about right quick. Okay? Saturday's class. Everybody see what these are? Index cards. On Saturday's class, everybody will bring index cards. They cost one dollar or three hundred count. All right. You can get them at any one of what the Targets and those different types of stores like that. They have them. It's still early school thing. So buy them. Bring them here. Okay. Bring a what is it called? A sharpie. You know, and bring a pen. Sharpie and a pen. On one side, we're going to use the Sharpie. On the other side, we're going to use the pen. I do not trust you to do this at home. My experience has taught me, you know, that if I say do this at home, you won't do this at home. You'll say I'm going to get it done next week, next week, next week. And then finally, four weeks ago, by and you didn't do it. And that's four weeks of time that you could have been seeing these two pasted over all over your home. But if I say, hey, bring it to class. And bring some tape. You know what's it called? The tape, the see-through tape. Scotch, Scotch, Scotch tape. That's the name brand. But what's the name of the tape? Transparent, transparent tape. You know, when we can bring some transparent tape on the roll and everything like that. Now, after we've done it, it's more likely you'll go home and use that and put them up all over your home. Does that make sense? Yes. And then after we put them up around our home, then you start calling those things by the name that you put these things on. Okay, and then things will become more familiar with you in a natural way. Kapish? Alhamdulillah. Antum fahim? 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 Fahim. Now I can say, Kulu, say that. Kulu. Kulu is me telling you to say. Okay? Like we know the word full, right? Allahu ahad, right? So we know that word full. We're always talking about the cool, right? We Englishized it, right? So we don't need to know, we don't need to say again what the word full means. But I'm saying the word full in a plural, in an order. I say, Ulu, say that. Ulu. That's what I'm talking to all of you all. Ulu, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Right, you don't have to say Ulu. Now, if I say to the ladies, Ulna alhamdulillah. That's how you say in order to ladies. Ulna. The Nuna Niswa, we call it. Say Nuna Niswa. Nuna Niswa. That Niswa means for Nisa, right? So when you hear that Nun at the end of it for Nisa, you know it's only for women. Ulna alhamdulillah. Kulu alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Kulu marratin thani. Again? No, no. Kulu marratin thani is say it again. Alhamdulillah. Kulu marratin thani. Alhamdulillah. Marratin thani. Alhamdulillah. Hey, well, I'm there, Akhi. Kassad to be there, I meant by that to say again what I said. So everybody knows what marratin thani means, right? Say, marratin kulu marratin thani. Maratin then. Maratin then. Okay. Maratin. Maratin then. Maratin. Maratin then. Maratin. Maratin. Ukra. 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 Maratin. Maratin. Ukra. Ukra. Maratin. Maratin then. Then. And for him too? Now, for him now. Fahim na. Al Fahim. 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 Inshallah, that's that's that right there. All right.
we did a few things. We said Anna, right? Everybody Anna. had Anna, right? Anna. And what else? Yeah. What? We had that, right? Yeah. What? What else? Let's practice that. And then we went through, when we did the Anna, we described a few things. First thing we said, our, our ism, right? I'm sorry. We put our ism, right? And then after we put our ism, we said our uh, ethnicity. Let's say ethnicity. This is our like ethnicity. Okay? And and then also you put nispa and balat. And your bella. Okay? Nispa and bella. Okay? Everybody follow me? Yes. Yeah. Then we said our uh, mihna. Mihna. Say mihna. So we did these three things. Now, with this thing right here, I was thinking about that nispa because, you know, our people mostly say, I'm just African. Get the point? And I, I was thinking about that, and, and I was saying to myself when we were talking earlier, and I said that, you know, we don't like to be treated like slaves, but we introduce ourselves as slaves, right? And then say, oh, well, you know, I, I don't like that, okay? I don't like you to consider me or treat me like that. Then I was thinking about this. Imagine this. Imagine a woman introducing herself as her ex-husband's wife. And she was abused verbally and beat in that relationship. And she comes forward, and let's say the husband's name was, just for argument's sake, you know, Abdullah. Okay? So she says, Assalamu alaikum. He said, Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. What's your name? My name is uh, Sayyidatu Abdullah. Oh, you're from the Abdullah family? No, I'm his ex wife. Okay? His ex wife? Oh, mashallah. Did, did, so you guys had a great marriage? Oh, no, I hated the marriage. Okay, he used to beat me. He called me all types of names and everything like that. Mashallah. So, you know, when you're still married, no, no, we're not married no more. I'm not nothing to do with him. What do you think about this lady? You don't think much of her, right? No. You think there's something wrong. Why are you still going around calling yourself Abdullah, the man, the wife of this guy, if you're not married to him no more? You said you couldn't stand the marriage. He beat you and abused you, right? Now, let me ask you, Negro, something. Why are you still going around calling yourself by the slave master's name? If you ain't slaves no more, and you didn't like the slavery, and you say you got nothing to do with them no more. Good question. You Jahil. guys get my point? Jahil. You say, huh? Jahil. Jahil? Not no more. Yes. You know, it, I would say we were Jahil back when al Hajj Shabazz and brought up the subject. But it's been 50 years. Okay, we've been, it's been half a century since the idea of releasing yourself from that social slavery has been introduced, okay? So we've had half a century to think about that. What the issue is, is we don't want the responsibility of being free. Does that make sense? We don't want to accept that we have believed that our people back in Africa didn't care about us. That's why I ain't got nothing to do with no Africans. They gave us up. We don't say that about the same people's giving us up here when they do Qurans and stuff like that, right? You know, that doesn't make sense. And then the other argument is, well, there were a lot of Africans here in America. That don't mean there wasn't African. Let's say, and there was a percentage, not a large percentage that has, of the slave, the people who came over in slavery, that were actually living in the United States Mixing with the Native Americans before that. Did that take away their DNA? No. So when you're still doing a DNA test, it's not going to say United States. It's going to tell you that you what you were before you got here. Does that make sense? And that is part of your identity. If you don't want to be treated like a slave or with disdain, stop introducing yourself as a slave and get to know who you are because immediately what happens when you say, let's say you take a DNA test and it says that I'll just run mine, it says you are a 20% Ghanaian, you know, 40% Nigerian, and then it gives you Guinea Conakry and, and different places and, and stuff like that. And you say, okay, well, then if you get another one, I, I did the African exercise, so you are Fulani and Yoruba people, you know? And then we do the things, oh yeah, my mother's Fulani and this kind of thing, and you, you get the thing down, now, what do you do? You introduce yourself, man, I'm Fulani. Okay? And I'm from New York. Does that tell you who I am? Now, we can build a conversation from that. I don't have to still go around acting like I'm a slave. Because I'm not a slave. You, 
see my point? I have reassociated myself with my real identity that was taken away for all that period of time. Now, I'm trying to tell us, stop being a slave. No one is forcing you to still identify as a slave. And brothers get upset and ladies get upset. Like, ah, oh, oh, no, you know, you shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do what? I shouldn't say that you're not a slave. You're not a Williams, a Swartz, or whatever the name is. It's not your identity. There's nobody in Africa that has that misspot. And in Islam, that's called misspot. Who are you related to? Where do you come from? You get my point, everybody? And the Prophet Sallallahu he said, the curse is on the person who chooses another man to be his father, and he knows he ain't. You guys get my point? So we need to mature, you know, and accept the responsibilities of identity. Because what's going to happen next? As soon as you identify, say, oh, you know what? I'm from this people. What's the next thing that's going to happen? You're going to learn about those people. Immediately, you're going to start to learn know something about them. Take that out your mouth, son. Does that make sense? And when you start learning about them, you'll be learning about you. You'll be learning a lot about you. And one of the things you will learn is that Islam has been in Africa since Bilal. So you have a long Islamic history. And that's something to be honored about. And hold as a state a sense of dignity. When you realize how long you have been in Islam. And what is possibly the reason why you came back to Islam. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's my invitation. Now, that was my Monday morning for my Wednesday midweek rant. <laughs> so let's go through it. Let's practice now, okay? Practice makes what? Improvement. Improvement. Okay. Everybody stand up. Pick a partner. Come on, pick a partner. Okay, let's start. This me last. Start introducing yourself. No, no English. No English. If you can't do English, do sign language before you do English. Okay? Because you have to force yourself to kick it out. Okay? And, and and help them. Help help everybody that knows Arabic help. You two guys cannot be together. Both of you speak Arabic. Go find somebody else.
Can you remember that? Chris? 
translate that? No. No. La. La. Do I have to translate that? La. La. So now I want to hear Uridu N. Uridu N. I'm sorry, it was an N. Uridu N. Uridu N. Uridu N. Ana. Uridu N. Ana. I want to see this. Uridu N. Ana. Uridu N. Ana. Uridu N. Ana. Uridu N. Ana. Uridu N. Akul. Uridu N. Akul. Uridu N. Aktu. Uridu N. Aktu. Uridu N. Ana. Uridu N. Ana. Uridu N. Ana. Uridu N. Ana. Uridu means, look, like this. Uridu, a million dollars. <laughs> Everybody understand? Yeah. Everybody Uridu, a million dollars. Afini, give it to me. Has the hip too? Has the hip too? No, no, no. Say it. Uru. Uluha. Uluha means say it. Uluha. Uluha. Uluha mamla tintani. Uluha mamla tintani. Uluha mamla tintani. Fahimna. Fahimna. Naam fahimna. Naam fahimna. Okay. Wadban. Wadban. Farhan. Farhan. Alhamdulillah. 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 Fahnahnu sanafham kathir. We're going to understand a lot. Kathir. 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 We have this word here, Uridu An. Everybody understand? Uridu An. Uridu An. You have to have the An there. Okay? Uridu An. Uridu An. Learn this word, this phrase, because you're going to use it a lot. You're going to say that a lot to people, right? Uridu An. That's if you want to do something. Uridu An. You have to say Uridu An if you want to do something. If you want something, just say Uridu and you name the thing. You get my point? You see the difference? If I want to act, I say Uridu an. And then, Lekin, Uridu, million dollars. You see the difference? I don't say an. I say Uridu, million dollars. Everybody say that. Uridu, million dollars. Okay. Arabic dollars is dollar. You know? Dollar. Dollar. You know, everybody understands. You can say dollar. You can say flus. Everybody knows that word. You know, cash. So you can say that in any language. And everybody understands that. But Alhamdulillah, you understand? Say, Uridu million dollars. Uridu million dollars. Uridu an ana. Uridu an ana. Okay. Uridu an aktu. Uridu an aktu. Uridu an amshi. Uridu an amshi. Hal fahim tu? Na. Fahim na. Fahim na or fahim. Okay. Fahim. Fahim. The word fahim. Go. Fahim. Now I might use any form of this fa he ma word, okay? I might say a tefhamunani. You see that? No, a tefhamunani. No, right? Or I could say antum fahimun. Nam fahimna. You get my point? Fahim. Say fahim. Fahim. It's just like the word alim. Someone who knows, so he's, it's like the word Fatiha, okay? You see Fatiha? What does Fatiha mean? Open. No, it doesn't mean open. What does it mean? Open. Say it again. Open. The ING rule is basically what I'm pointing to. When there's an AE, that's the ING rule in Arabic. No matter what it is. Fahimun. Fahim. 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 No, right? Fahim. You get the point now? No. Fahim. 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 Fahim.
understand the, the, the shape of the language. Okay? Antum fahimun? No. 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 إذا لم تقرأ ولم تكن فاهما فموتكم خير من حياتكم دائما. Now when you go to school, what do you learn? You learn nursery rhymes, right? Yeah. You guys are in nursery school. So we're going to learn a nursery rhyme, okay? With simple words that you're going to understand. Yeah. The word قرأة, right? You familiar with that word? No. 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 Say قرأة. So qara'a means, you know what that means, it's like this, this is qara'a, right? right? If I have this thing right here, and I'm doing what? I am qara'a, and I'm qari'un, qari'un, get it? And I'm qari'un, al-kitab, masfum? No, fahimya, right? So, ida, everybody know the word ida? Ida jaha nasrullahi wal ida. Ida. There's three idas in, in Arabic. There's in, wa id qala rabbuka lil malaika. In. That's behind you. In. Everybody say in. In. Okay? Ida. 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 Ida is right now. Yawma ida. That what that even and and even okay even 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 everybody understand what no say it now say it get your mouth used to it for him now for him now now we pray moon now no now no now no Most everybody knows from Mauritania. It's one of the first things they teach you. 
okay, about how to be a student. It goes like this. Don't drop your voices. You should understand the word. Say either. Walam Takun. Everybody understand the word Takun? No. You don't. Kun fire kun. Oh. Say for him now. Okay? Open the mind and use everything you got. Okay? So does everybody understand the word Takun? Stop giving me one word. For him now. For him now, it's tough for me. Right? I'm better than him. 
Right? So we should know this word. Right? You made me from fine, you created from stinking clay. Right? You know when you know, shake on things, you like take clay, put it on fire, who wins? Clay. Uh, it's more than a fire. Yeah. So yeah. you get that, that straw man idea. Yeah. Fire was better. You know, and earlier I say, well, where do you get fire from? The earth. Right? So earth is automatically better than fire. So you can't have fire without earth, but you can have earth without fire. So, you know, that's another whole you know, argument shared by the show is stupidity, you know? But, you know, you get that khayyum min, right? Everybody say that? Khayyum min. You understand it now? Khayyum min. You understand it now? You understand it now? You understand it now? Did you understand it, young man? Don't nod your head. I want to hear No, for him now. Okay. So, for mawtukum khayyum min hayatikum? Hayatikum. iman. Da'i What is da'i iman? Ever, ever. Always. 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 But we wouldn't translate it like that. We would say it differently. So then your death is always going to be bad. You're better off dead. You get the point? That's how it means. You're better off dead than alive. Always. That's always the situation. Does that make sense? Yes. The team is good. The team is We can benefit from the team. We can't benefit from somebody who left up there. You don't understand nothing. Okay? Da Iman. Everybody say it. Always and forever. Always and forever. Da Iman. Okay? Ma dum tahayya. Allah says in the Quran on the tongue of Isa bin Maryam. He says, and I've been, uh, uh, he, uh, I'm going to be salati wa zakati ma dum tahayya. Dum tu from the word da Iman. Okay? As long as I'm alive. You get my point? So you say, my dutu, as long as I'm, my dutu, huna, as long as I'm here, that's how you say that, just from the word. Everything we say, we can say it in a nice way. Ma dutu hayya, say that? As long as I'm alive. Ma dutu hayya. Ya iman. Ya iman. Ya iman. Forever. Hayya, hayya the dunya. As a, as a, you know, Hayat is not life for my mother Hayat, right? Hawah, right? She was called Hawah because she gave life. Hayatuna. So Hayat is from two words, shyness, and it also means life. Oh, Same oh, word. Okay, oh, so oh, here you're oh, life. Oh, oh, oh. Your life. Hayatikum. Hayatikum. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أي الصلاه أي الصلاه
من حياتكم دائما رموتكم خير من حياتكم دائما رموتكم خير من حياتكم دائما
We say, إِذَا لَمْ تَقْرَأْ وَلَمْ تَكُنْ فَاهِمًا فَمَوْتُكُمْ خَيْرٌ مِنْ حَيَاتِكُمْ دَائِمًا He said, خير, you did good. However, that's only part of it. حَيَاتٌ بِلَا عِلْمٍ حَيَاتٌ مُضَيَّعَ وَالْعِلْمٌ بِلَا تُقَى الْعِلْمُ لَنْ يَنْفَعَ Which is right there, he says, حَيَاتٌ بِلَا عِلْمٍ Life without knowledge, حَيَاتٌ مُضَيَّعَ It's a wasted life. وَالْعِلْمُ الْبِلَى تُقَى And knowledge without taqwa. And the ilmu lan yanfa'a is knowledge that will never benefit. إِذَا لَمْ تَقْرَى وَلَمْ تَكُنْ Can I hesitation? Say that in English. Or no, say mouth! Okay. Right? إِذَا لَمْ تَقْرَى إِذَا لَمْ تَقْرَى وَلَمْ تَكُنْ فَاهِمًا وَلَمْ تَكُنْ فَاهِمًا فموتكم خير من حياتكم دائما فموتكم خير من حياتكم دائما سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وعليكم السلام Come for the first hour. Come for the first hour. Yeah, but I might get it. It's going to